sweaty. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth it, I think, to drop down to Olympic because it goes uh, across town pretty well. Uh-huh. And you have three lanes, or at least two. And there's no one here. Yeah. On the weekends, it's good. I, I mean, Monday through Friday, it'll get bumper to bumper. Los Angeles is uh, all about knowing the, uh, the shortcuts. Let's see if any. I don't know, I'm kind of sensing that someone's going to try to uh, race us a little bit here. <laughs> You're really hoping for it. No, I mean, I just kind of, you know, see he's, he's already moving his car. jump on me and I left my car in normal mode I didn't even push the sport button because this thing beats brand new Teslas and I've beaten a couple Ferraris so I really wasn't worried about a little Volkswagen so this is just normal mode <laughs> yeah. that was awesome and we'll say goodbye to him at this light bye <laughs> Oh, he followed us. Oh. That's cool. He's in our rear view. Nice, man. Is that stock? Is that stock? Nice. And I think that's what car culture is about, where you can do that and it's just fun. Oh, absolutely. You know? He was so chill. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I'm Ken Bond. I'm a film and TV actor. I'm a stunt driver. And I'm also a comedian. So don't take these videos too seriously, otherwise you're... Uh, probably gonna get really upset uh, my slogan is love your car evolve your car and we're gonna take a look at some of the evolutions uh, that I've done to the Z4 hopefully this will inspire you to love your car and evolve your car I just kind of did it for fun and people really like it so uh, the response has been really nice and people are much nicer to me in traffic and the car was getting old it has a history it's been on uh, Melrose Place, it's been on 90210, it's been in movies, it has quite a history. It's going to be at Coachella in a video at Coachella, 2018 Coachella. So, the new Coachella coming out, uh, you're going to see it. In fact, uh, you'll notice it says bad BMW on one side and it doesn't on the other because we had to take it off for the video. I'm gonna... Years after I got the car, kind of the finishing touches, we put black kidneys in it. It came with these silver kidneys. Uh, but the first thing I did is I uh, covered up the amber lights with these little, I mean if you really look close there, they're, they're just little gray pinstripes. That was the first thing I did. I thought about swapping out the lights to Euro lights, but I uh, had payments on this car in the beginning and I just thought, what is the point of doing that? And we also put them on the back lights. And uh, that really set the car off. Uh, later, I put that black piece there. But the uh, I like to connect the rear lights. I think it just cleans up the car. If there's any Maybach fans out there, you'll appreciate that. And of course, I've done it to the new one as well. You know, and if you haven't been following the vlog, this is not a kit. Um, this is not, I didn't take it anywhere, I actually did it myself uh, just by putting stickers on my car very carefully and paying tribute to the design DNA of BMW and Adrian and his team over there. On the Z, I decided to hide the cut lines and there's actually a cut line right in here. That's where the cut line is and I decided to hide it with the sticker and as I put the sticker on, I realized that the designers actually 
this is a line that goes all the way through the front spoiler the 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 stripe going through the wheel that's straight out of Christian von Koenigsegg's uh, uh, design philosophy. He's done that and I, I, I love how it emphasizes the rear wheel. So when you open the door, it's got these uh, these blue lights. Yeah, we'll get a shot at night. And uh, some of them went out, so I made a sticker and I stuck them over the, uh, the lights. I put the lights in, I put these little things in here. These are Velcro, so you can stick things on there. And um, well, let's, st let's stick to the outside. So I also put some here. You know, that was one of the first things and you really couldn't even tell. Then I put these lines and it ends and then it picks up again here in the rear fender. I'm talking about this little tiny line. That was the first thing I did. And if you look at it closely, it's actually, it's one sticker with three different uh, stripes and I put it on and my neighbors noticed it uh, but most people couldn't even tell and if you stood back you could barely notice it so the next stripe I put on was the big uh, fat black stripe and I invented this detail just to do something neat it it wasn't planned that way but when I put it on, it ended up looking good that way. And I used the circle, I actually used a kitchen bowl to cut that. Um, after the black stripe was in place for a while, I found this, uh, this gold stripe with uh, five, five gold lines. And uh, I put that on to complete it. But I, that was one of the last things to go on. The very last is this uh, red stripe along the bottom. turned to gold. We blacked out the uh, the blue and the symbols. It, it was just too much with the gold. And uh, I love this little uh, detail. The uh, the valve stems are uh, shells. Let, let's you know it's a gangster. And you know you can you can knock this uh, this old Z. But uh, this car has beaten um, a Ferrari 360, Ferrari F430. I've raced four Teslas, and it's beaten all of them. I think I was, the first time it happened, I was surprised as well as uh, the guy in the Tesla. Uh, one guy I raced him several times, and, I, and the Z just smacks him down. Um, lots of Audis, lots of Mustangs, lots of BMWs. For such a you know small little car, it's incredibly fast. Even when I take it to the shop, the people freak out. They're like, man, your car has a lot of power. And as it evolved, so you can see that stripe actually picks up from the spoiler and goes all the way through. These, these cars are both paid off. And just as a side note, I really think you should purchase your car. Because once you purchase it and it's paid off, then you can have fun with it, you know. And even though this Z is so old, uh, it's still amazing. I mean, it's in it's in a, a Coachella video this summer, and it's going to continue to be in uh, movies and television. And it just does the, the most amazing tricks. But we will have some more drifting. Uh, you've seen uh, this this one drift a few times, and this one drifts pretty much practically every time you drive. So guys, the reason why this video is a little impromptu is I might be saying goodbye to... I, I can't even talk about this. Uh, the last time I was at the auto gallery that I drove this car, the Z4, um, one of the sales reps, I mean, he was screaming. He was like, I want the Z, I want the Z. And they had a, they had a Ferrari that um, was... Uh, uh, secondhand Ferrari that was uh, kind of what I liked. I didn't really like the color combination, but if 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 I, if I end up if something happens sooner than later, and I didn't get to share this little car with you, um, I, I would be I would be forever sad. If you can find a good Z4 SMG, it's from the factory. They imported this car for only 03 and 04 to the U.S. This is an 03. Uh, but uh, again, it's in 
2018 videos and it's gonna it's probably gonna be in film and TV for the next 20 years it beats brand new Tesla's it gets 36 miles to the gallon uh, coming up from San Diego going down to San Diego gets 42 miles to the gallon it's a six-speed sequential manual and I bought it because I want to get a Pagani and that has a sequential manual gearbox and I didn't want to learn that on a Pagani I want to learn it on a uh, somewhat you know cheaper car but this has been my daily driver for the last uh, seven years and Lane over here is picking up the slack it's I mean it's so fast it's 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 uh, it's it's fantastic the next car will probably be a Ferrari a Pagani and I thought it was gonna be a Huayra um, and speaking speaking of the Pagani I want to show you show you these paddles in here so you might have heard me gripe about uh, paddles on uh, McLaren's on the steering wheel well this car is almost identical to it so here are the paddles they're right on the steering wheel and you pull this one if you want to upshift and you push it to downshift just like a McLaren and this one is the same dealio the only difference is when you pull this one or push this one this one doesn't move but you can upshift or downshift either way and then with the with the stick over here if you just yank it over it go the car goes into neutral this is a fully stick shift car it has a parking brake you have to do that every single time uh, the car is in neutral uh, but these paddles on the steering wheel after having the car like this I absolutely hate it I really wish they were on the stock they were fixed I'm really committed to road cars uh, and cars being able to go across the country and be daily drivers. So this car is a daily driver even though it packs huge performance. And um, I think that's the magic of, uh, of these uh, BMWs because you know this one's again a daily driver. It's already been across the country uh, one time. Um, you've seen it drift. This one uh, you know is gonna, is gonna be drifting um, coming up. Okay this is what I'm gonna say. Daily drivers that do it all are better than having, you know, one car that's performance, one car that you do all your errands in, uh, another car that, uh, you know, you, you, you take people around in. Um, even though this has two seats, uh, again, it, it's, it's been a daily driver for a very, very long time, and it's been fantastic. next video I thought this was funny I came back to the car the other day and I left the velcro in the car and Teresa had found a new use for it ah the romance of cars smash that subscribe button yo